How to simplify your answers. All right, so let's do 30 degrees first. All right, now we're going to use this unit circle to our advantage. Um, but first, let's look at secant, cosecant, and cotangent. We just learned a few things about these dudes. We learned that cosecant is the same as 1 over cosine. I'm not, not cosecant. Secant is the same as 1 over cosine. And then cosecant is 1 over secant. And then, um, no, what? What am I doing here? No, no. Cosecant is 1 over sine. Wow. Someone's having issues. And then cotangent, we talked about earlier, is cosine over sine. All right. So let's look at 30 degrees first. Now, zero is a quadrantal angle. He's special. And so is 180 degrees. So we'll, we'll do one of those after we do 30 degrees. I think trying to understand this for the first time, it's easier to do 30 degrees first. So let's do 30 degrees first. All right, so 30 degrees is 1 over cosine. So 1 over cosine of 30 degrees, not 30 degrees, is 1 over cosine. Secant of 30 degrees is 1 over cosine. So I'm looking at my 30 degrees right here. These coordinates tell me the side lengths of the triangle that is not drawn here. This triangle doesn't need to be here. I'm just doing it for explanation purposes. This is red 3 over 2 because that's the x value. And then the y value is 1 half. Okay, so we know that the 1 half is opposite, and we know that the uh, rad 3 over 2 is the adjacent side. So that means that cosine is your x, and then sine is your y. Now, you already know this. I'm just kind of reviewing stuff here for you guys. So when I look at secant of 30 degrees, I'm thinking 1 over cosine of 30 degrees. Well, what is cosine of 30 degrees for our 30-degree triangle? It's rad 3 over 2. So let's do that work over here on the side. Let's go 1 divided by rad 3 over 2 because that's what secant is. So then I write 1 times 2 over rad 3. Oh, and then I have 2 over rad 3, which then gives me 2 rad 3 over 3 because you have to multiply the top and the bottom by rad 3 so that we don't have a radical on the denominator. So that is our answer for secant of 30 degrees. Let's write that in here. 2 rad 3 divided by 3. Now let's do it again for cosecant. Now cosecant is 1 over sine. So let's do the same business over here. We have 1 divided by sine. Now what is sine of 30 degrees? I'm writing a little extra here than last time. Sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Yes, and we're quadrant 1, so we know it's a positive 1 half. So we write 1 divided by 1 half. This one works out a little bit prettier. We have 1 times the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2 over 1, which would then equal 2. Dose. So I write dose right there. Okay, now last but not least, we have cotangent of 30 degrees. That's cosine divided by sine. So let's write a little bit extra over here as well. We have cosine of 30 degrees divided by sine of 30 degrees. And then what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Sine is, no, cosine is um, red 3 over 2. Sine is 1 half, and we get that from these guys. Cosine is rad 3 over 2, sine is 1 half. And now I'm going to say rad 3 over 2 times the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2 over 1, so the 2s get canceled out because they're the same. And then we have rad 3 as our answer. Oh, wow. So nice and pretty. Uh, when you guys are filling out this table, you'll, know that, you'll notice that some things start to repeat themselves. Like when you guys do the 60-degree one, you should notice that 2 is right here, and this answer comes over here. Like, there's repeats going on, right? So pay close attention to that stuff. All right, so let's do, let's do a quadrantal angle. Let's do 180. So let's do 180 right now. Now, 180 has coordinates negative 1, 0. Negative 1, 0. Now, negative 1 is your cosine, and 0 is your sine. So let's uh, think about that as we do this. Now, uh, co our secant is 1 over cosine, so... Cosine, what is cosine? Cosine of cosine of 180 degrees. What is that? What is cosine 180 degrees? That looks like a negative 1 to me. So I have 1 over negative 1, which equals negative 1. All right, all right, not bad. Cosecant is 1 over sine theta. Ooh, ooh. What is sine theta? What is sine of 180 degrees? Let's see. Oh, that's a zero. Oh, my goodness. Can we ever, 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 ever do that? No. So that is... Undefined one. Okay, and then we have our cotangent. Cotangent. Now, cotangent is cosine divided by sine, so that means we're going to have a negative 1 
divided by zero. Ooh, ooh, can we have this? No, Miss Petty, we already went over this. All right, so we have undefined, undefined, and that's what happens. Sometimes you get zero divided by one, which would just be zero, um, but in this case, zero is on the denominator, so that means it's undefined. Now let's look over at number two. I'm not going to do everything, guys, because I want to take away your practice. You guys have all the solutions in your solutions binder to check, it, check your work. But on number two, they do this thing that kind of like freaks you out. They put these decimals right here. And you're like, oh, zero is decimal. Okay, this is what you do. Do you know how to read this decimal? Not 0 .05. Like, how do you read it? That, you say that by saying negative five hundredths. Because it's over two spaces. Five is in the second space after the decimal. So it's sine theta equals negative five over 100. Five hundredths. Now, think about cosecant. <laughs> Do you guys know what cosecant is? Cosecant, people, is just one over sine theta. Oh. So in order to find this answer, I just have to go one divided by negative five over 100? Yes. Can you simplify 5 over 100? Yes. I'm not going to yet, but you can. 1 times the reciprocal of the denominator, which is negative 100 over 5. What is 100 divided by 5? 20. Negative 20, which is your answer. Okay, this one down here is 5 over 10,000. I don't want you guys to get thrown off here. Like, see how it has one, two, three, four zeros? That means they're going to say this. One, one, two, three, four zeros. Not four zeros. I mean, these are placeholders. But anyways, that's negative equals. All right? So now you guys can finish that. I think you guys finished this time, no problem.